secure the wireless network, I'll reconnect my web browser to the web administration page for the wireless access point. Log in. And as you can see from the wireless settings that no encryption is currently enabled. So by default this wireless access point does not use any encryption. So we'll go to the wireless security settings. And this one happens to support six different modes. WEP, WPA, two versions, personal version and an enterprise version. This radius is a centralized authentication server. This one happens to be used for WEP. And then we have WPA2 or version 2. Let's take a look at the WEP settings. WEP supports two different encryption types, 64-bit and 128-bit. These will use 10 digit hexadecimal digits or 26 hexadecimal digits. This one allows us to enter a pass or phrase. So if we want to enter a pass phrase and then it will automatically generate our 10 digit hexadecimal code for us. So that's a good way to uh, use a secure pass phrase and then have the access point generate the particular encryption key you're going to use or you could enter your own random encryption key if you wanted to use your own hexadecimal key. This TX key, this al allows you to specify which of these hexadecimal keys your access point and your wireless clients are going to use. So in this case we're going to use TX1 or key number one. I'll save these settings. So now since our wireless client was connected to the test lab wireless access point, you can see that it dropped the connection because it's not using any web encryption. So we'll go through the available wireless networks. We can see test lab now is secure and has security enabled. So when we double click on this, it's asking for that web key. So I enter the web key that I had entered for the key number one and click connect. So now it's using that web key that we just configured. And now it's using a secured connection. We test this setting. Reconnect to the internet. So now we have a web secured connection between our client and our wireless access point. Although most wireless devices do support WEP, it's not recommended to use WEP security to secure your wireless network. WEP has some security flaws and can be readily cracked uh, with the right wireless tools. So it's recommended you use WPA or WPA2 if your devices are new enough. So let's take a look at securing this wireless network using WPA. Connect my web browser back to the wireless access point and log in. So under our security mode, we'll change this to WPA Personal. Personal version does not use a centralized authentication server like a Radius server. So this is generally what you use for most home or small businesses. This one happens to support two types of encryption, TKIP and AES. And WPA supports just using a passphrase. So this passphrase and this implementation has to be at least eight characters. So we'll just use the word password. You would want to use a secure passphrase using upper and lower case letters, possibly numbers. Uh, so anytime that you're securing with WPA, you want to make sure that you use a secure passphrase. So I'll save these settings. And just like WEP, once we save these settings on the wireless access point, we'll have to set those same settings on our wireless client. We'll close our web browser. As you can see, our wireless network connection has dropped. This connection is still trying to use WEP to connect to that wireless network. As you can see here, Test Lab is now secured using WPA, so we need to change our client settings. We could either double click this and enter the new WPA. I'm going to show you some advanced configuration settings in case you need to set these manually. Click on the Wireless Networks tab 
and you can see test lab is automatically configured because we connected to web earlier change the properties of this so I'm going to change the network authentication type from open to WPA PSK PSK stands for pre-shared key and we set our data encryption to AES and we're going to use the network key uh, of password that's what we had set on the wireless access point so WPA relatively easy to set you just set the network authentication type the type of data encryption that you're going to use and then the passphrase that you configured we save these settings our wireless connection will try to reconnect to the wireless access point and now we are shown as connected So security enabled WPA and we're currently connected. We'll test that connection. And we're able to connect to the internet. One other wireless security setting is called MAC address filtering. This allows you to configure the MAC address of wireless clients and either deny them access or allow access to the access point. Connect to and log in to the wireless access point web configuration page. And we're going to configure wireless MAC filters. Generally disabled by default, I've enabled them. This machine allows us to set f up to 50 MAC addresses. And then we can either prevent them from accessing the wireless network or we can permit them access. Use the IP config forward slash all command to view the physical address. This is the MAC address of this wireless adapter. I'll enter that in MAC address number one. So this MAC address, we will permit access to this MAC address. Save these settings. So now anytime a wireless client tries to connect, their MAC address has to be in the MAC address filter list. To test this, open up a new tab and see if we can connect to Google. So the MAC address that we entered is the proper MAC address for this network interface card and we've permitted access to that network interface. Let's see what happens if we deny access to that interface. there's the proper MAC address. In this case we'll prevent this network interface card MAC address from connecting. Save our settings. Now this time we'll try to connect to the internet. And we should be denied access. As you can see, our wireless network connection dropped, tried to connect, and it's unable to connect to our preferred wireless network. So Test Lab is still there, still configured with WPA, but since we entered the MAC address filter, this network interface is denied access. It's not recommended to just use MAC address filtering. MAC address can be easily spoofed using the right wireless tools. A hacker or cracker could find viable MAC addresses on the network and enter those or spoof those MAC addresses to be able to make those wireless connections. So it's an added security benefit if you're using some other type of encryption, WPA for example, but you shouldn't use just MAC address filtering because it's not very secure. In this video I showed you how to add a wireless access point to an existing wired network and then I showed you how to configure WEP, WPA, MAC address filtering and add a Windows XP client to the wireless network. Hopefully this will give you enough information to add your own wireless access point and configure a Windows XP or other Windows client with security settings. Good luck and thanks for watching.